Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I realized there was a video update needed for downloading 1320 challenge and creating an account and just a cool overview of the game. So I wanted to make that video today for you guys, upload it and you can share it around so other people can join the game and we can have some new racers. So first of all, you want to join the 1320 challenge discord, obviously. Easiest way to do that is in the description of all my videos, which I should have had one up. Give me one second. In the description of every video I make, there is a link tree link. All you have to do is click this link, and it opens you up to basically every link that has to do with me. So you'll see, you know, obviously my YouTube, 1320 Challenge official Discord. You'll notice this is the Discord because of the icons. The Legends Discord, Lith Archive for all the Lith tech stuff my personal discord and there's just a whole bunch of stuff in here uh don't bother with this it doesn't work anymore anyway so you want to join 1320 challenge you would click 1320 challenge remake and obviously i'm already in the discord so it doesn't matter but once you're in the discord you do need to post at least once in uh where's the section introductions I believe you have to post here at least once and then it adds you to the racers role and you can interact with the rest of the discord. Since I've been in this discord since before this change, I didn't have to do that, but I don't have multi-factor on my account on this. So whatever. What you'll notice is there's like a welcome. There's the rules for the discord, um, game news and development information as far as what's going on for development from espionage's side of things. What you want if you want to get on and start playing, is getting started. So there's two versions you see here. There's FP7 and FP32. What's the difference? FP7 is for computers that don't have dedicated graphics cards. So if you're not a gaming computer or a gaming laptop, you don't want FP, or you want FP7. I'm sorry. That's the version you want. If you are like me and you have a graphics card and a gaming computer you probably want to use fp32 but it doesn't hurt to try both because you never know which one's actually going to work better with your your computer because we've realized that adobe flash being so old trying to run it on today's computers it just gets all sorts of confused but in my case i'm downloading fp32 so click continue to download if you're on google chrome it's going to flag flag this as a virus if you're on firefox it might not um, if you have antivirus on your computer, it might. It's because when we create these flash players with the game embedded into the EXE, that's kind of the definition of what's known as a Trojan. A Trojan on a computer by definition is basically taking one file type and another file type and smashing them together and making one file. These are completely safe. Don't worry. We're not out here to hurt you. What you then want to do is just open it up. You can minimize and just drag and drop it somewhere. You can put it on your desktop. I'm throwing it in this folder for temporary, whatever. You just want to put it somewhere. We're not done with the Discord yet, though. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, I'm not used to having it open like this. So, once you have everything done there, you want to open up the game. So, open up the game. You might get a prompt that says yes or no. Do you want to open it? No biggie. So we're going to click here and you select your Civic, make this full screen here, and you can choose whatever color you want right here. Select vehicle. Okay. Okay. Clear, you know, concise, super simple terms of use, and then create your account information. So we're going to go with like a, heck, I don't know, um, IT video. One. <laughs> YT video. Uh, keep in mind, this game was made a long time ago. So if you are a different gender here, uh, we don't really have the ability right now to like remove it. So just deal with it, I guess. Um, An email, you can really put anything. It's not actually used at the moment in any sense of the game. And we'll go over that here in a second. But click Create Account. It'll tell you if there's an error. 
whatever. As you can see, you want to go to the Discord and direct message the system bot with slash verify racer username and password. So we're going to do that real quick. So you see the system bot over here under administrator. Right click it and do message. And see, I've done it before. You just do slash verify. I could spell. And then you put in the name YT video and the password. Password for this account. Someone's going to steal it. I don't care. There you go. And that's your activation code. So you can copy this. You can't control V in Adobe Flash. It's really stupid, but you can right click paste. Click activate account. Your account is activated. That simple. So the 1320 challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. There you go. You are now into the game. So you can see these are, let's go over the actual game layout here. This is the leaderboard for people with most wins and losses and like best percentages and stuff. Top racers, basically top teams and then fastest cars. As you can see, the Nitto stock car is kind of reigning supreme today, but sometimes the TFD is up there as well. You can even go through and see like specific cars. Yeah, I'm number five. <laughs> anyway. Let's go over a few other things. So there's challenge info. This is going to be your incoming online races from other players because this is kind of a turn-based game. This is going to be your outgoing. So you sent a race to somebody else. Garage, self-explanatory. This is where all your cars are kept. Modifications are listed here once you have stuff installed. Tuning is done here with like gear ratios, boost controller, and suspension. Boost controller only works with turbocharged cars. Paint shop is here. Um forgot this version's broken but it will be fixed in the future you can do you know all your stuff you can do your numbers you do need 750 bucks to paint your vehicle drop shadow on the number if you want and then maintenance there is a glitch in the game at the moment run your oil life all the way down to zero or one percent and you will never get engine damage anyway let's go to the we're going to skip racetrack until the end here part shop this is where you get all your parts, your wheels, your tires, your suspension, nitrous, intake. Starting out, at least in my mind of, um, you know, how should I build my Honda Civic to be better for CPU races and gaining money? I like to purchase tires, um, which are over here. I like to save up and get tires, which are 500. And then... I like to also get the Magic Gearbox, which is 3200 So it is quite a buy-in, but once you have the Magic Gearbox and the tires, you can start rev-launching your car to be a little bit more accurate on the light on the racetrack, and you can also start making more money by being more accurate and racing better tournaments. So that's usually my first go-tos. From there, you can also just do like exhaust and air intake and stuff like that. Not a big deal. Car showroom. Self-explanatory. <laughs> you know, all your cars are here. Teams. If you're on a race team, you can come in here and, you know, race. Community. Fun little place. Uh, you know, this is where people come in and they chat in-game because we didn't used to have Discord back in 2002. So this is where you come chat. Now, racetrack. The big point of the game is racing. You can race with W A or W S D, W shift up, S is shift down, and D is nitrous. Or you can drive with the arrow keys, which is how it was originally made. Uh, up for shift up, down for shift down, and right for nitrous. We're gonna go with explaining computer challenges first. So what you can see here is it basically lists the people that have been online the most recent. As you can see, I'm right here. I could send myself a race, no problem. You know, I'd click Mopar. Ooh, loud. You know, I can send head to head or bracket. Now, let me explain. <clears throat> uh, let me just do this from the beginning. So, first of all, make sure your oil life is good, your engine damage is good. If you have nitrous installed on the car, it's right here and it'll tell you if it's full or not. Click OK. Bracket racing and head to head racing. Very different types of racing. Bracket racing will make it fair if your car is faster versus somebody else's or vice versa. We have kind of an in-community thing. It's called head-to-bracket, which is where you use a head-to-head -head car versus another head-to-head -head car. So it would be like RSX versus Dodge Viper. 
the RSX would put in their fastest time of like 7.699. That's their dial in, their bracket ET. You want to get as close to your bracket ET dial in as possible with your vehicle. Or you can do heads up and just, you know, cars that run identical, you can race them together. So we're going to do bracket here. I don't know what this car runs, so 15.5 is what I'm going to put. And then it's going to ask you, is that the ET you want to use? Yes. Now there are three racing modes in the game. Race for fun, no money on the line, no nothing, straight up racing, just hop on the track and go. Money races, self-explanatory. You want to bet some in-game cash? Go for it. Pink slip races. This is something a lot of games today are missing is pink slip racing. Pink slip racing allows you to put up your car as a bet versus somebody else's car for a bet. Whoever wins gets the other person's car. It's awesome. We're going to go with race for fun because I ain't got no money. There is no difference in the climates here as far as the racetracks. This one doesn't have like more grip versus this one is like a cooler temperature. They're just visuals, 100% visuals. And then the lane choice, you can pick whichever lane you want to be in. I always like being in lane one. And if you want to send a short message to the person you're sending a race to, be like, this is going to be easy. If you want to trigger people in this community, after you beat them, send them a message that says easy. <laughs> Click start race, and you're on the racetrack. Look at that. So now we have our graphic settings. Sound effects on or off doesn't do anything anymore. We took that out because it was having some bugs with the game. You can turn on and off the, asp the crowd, the asphalt, center dividers, background, vehicle animations. Realistically, with today's computers, it doesn't matter. People will try to tell you it does. It doesn't. So let's talk about controls. Obviously, you see your boost. If you have nitrous installed, it's right here. Here's your RPM gauge, your mile per hour gauge, your brake button, your throttle slider, and your clutch feather. So if you go all the way soft, it'll make it easier to rev launch, but there's a little bit more of a gap of time between your shifts, it seems like. If you go here, it's the best of both world, worlds. If you go harsh, you are more likely to spin your tires off the line, basically, once you're in a head-to-head -head setting. I always like, on stock cars, going soft and then just racing from there. I put in a dial-in of 15.5, so we're going to use the up arrow to shift into first, slide up just a little bit, and the way I always stop is I just slam it into reverse. It's so much easier than having to click the brake pedal. Like, it, it, it's been so long that I didn't even know there's brake lights. Wow. Anyway. And you want to line up wherever you want to line up. Now, in a stock Civic, you kind of want to launch off the line around the second light. There are beeps for the lights, which, since I have sound off at the moment, you're not going to hear it. Second light, like, right after you hear the beep is when you basically want to launch, and you'll get, like, a .55. But as you can see, we finished the race. Wow, this thing is slow. <laughs> but there we go. So how do I make money to make my car better? Computer racing. Go amateur league. You can do either single races just to get used to the car or tournaments. So let's go tournament because I've been playing this game for a while. Put in your dial in. We just learned I run 16.8. And go, okay, click here. And we're up against our first AI racer. So, we're simply going to just hold the mouse button. I forgot. I'm so used to my cars on my main account. Granted, on the beginner tournaments, this might still be fine because my dial in is going to be so close. I'm not sure. Yeah, I still won. So, oh, okay. Sometimes it bugs and that blue screen stays there forever. You just have to close the game and reopen it. Okay, next race. And like I showed, it doesn't really change anything. I'm going to try medium and see if it makes it a slight bit faster here. Just hold the mouse button, hold the gas pedal down. And I fouled. So I was kind of actually hoping to lose a race uh, in this video because I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a thing that happens with computer races uh, when you lose a race. The try again button comes up and it's not actually 
supposed to. So as you can see, exit competition or try again. You can click the try again and try again, but you're not going to get the tournament money. It's kind of a bug that this shows up. It's not supposed to. You just need to exit competition, go back in, and start the tournament over, and that's the best way to do it. But let's go back in. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go harsh. And we're going to hope. I don't have the beeps right now, so it's actually really hard for me to race. <laughs> I'll win this though, because if you get as long as you get like a 0.6 and you're within like 0.1 of your dial in, you're probably going to win the race. So we're going to let this run. And da da da. 16902. So it does seem faster if I do clutch down on this car, actually. Interesting piece of information there. All right, next race here. I don't think on stock tires you can rev your engine at all and launch. Ooh, that was a good reaction time. Compared to what I normally get on stock vehicles because I'm not used to racing them. I'll log into my main before the end of this video and show you guys what head-to-head -head racing is like with full maxed out cars. There we go. But I want to finish the tournament so you guys can see what a full tournament is. Obviously, this is the slowest way to go through a tournament is... uh you know, sit here and run a completely stock car. 709, I'll be fine. They had a nearly one second reaction time. So unlike the original game as well, the AI, ET, and RT, so estimated time and reaction time, is randomized with every race. So they will not run this over and over. The original game, they just had a set time and they would just run it every race. Get trophy, thousand bucks. We made money. If you go to the part shop, you'll see I have eighteen hundred bucks because I won one race and then failed out. But now I want to get tires on my car. Five hundred bucks, good money well spent, and I'll show you guys what parts installed on a vehicle looks like. As you can see, here they are. You don't have to install them; it installs them at the part shop. But a little bit of a tip for the moment: there is a glitch with weight of vehicles and forced induction on vehicles if you want to change something that's going to change your weight which is wheels that's it or uh, if you want to change your forced induction from supercharge to turbocharge i recommend installing uninstalling the whole system and i'll show you this when i log into my main account and then re-logging basically close the game reopen it log back in because there's a glitch where the server doesn't like to update the variables for some reason and we're still working on it trying to figure out why um, it doesn't update the vehicles for your weight or your horsepower, and it'll think you're faster than you are. So, anyway, we got tires installed. This is awesome. Let me log into my main account, and I'll show you guys, you know, head-to-head -head racing. All right, we in here. So, head-to-head -head racing. I got a whole bunch of cars. Now, depending on when you see this video, you might see you know, these wheels on cars, these orange wheels or these gold wheels. These are limited edition cars. We're going to do limited edition stuff once in a while for like different holidays and stuff like that, um, where you can basically find limited edition items in the shop. So these are like the autumn wheels and the little graphic wrap on the back here with the teeth was a Halloween thing. Uh, these are what's known as trophy wheels. These can basically be earned by a sanctioned tournament that we run on the Discord through the game. We're still trying to iron out the bugs and figure out how exactly we're going to give these out, but eventually you'll see tournaments and stuff like that be posted on the Discord, and you can earn wheels that way. Also, if you are a Photoshop god and you want to make content for the game that the community can vote on if, you want, if they want to add it to the game or not, feel free to hit me up on the Discord. I'm TechX on the Discord, obviously. Hit me up with your designs. We can potentially throw it in the game and actually have it be an official, you know, piece of content in the game. That's how a lot of these wheels came to be. I made these wheels. I converted them from a different game. Uh, somebody else made these wheels. A guy on the Discord named 4EN. He also made these wheels. You know, there's a whole bunch of other people that are submitting wheels now as well. As you can see, like in the part shop, you know, they're separate. I, sometimes they bug. I know they're not there. 
but you can see that you can buy them. So these will probably go away here in a week or two, is what I'm thinking. But as you can see, there's my race I sent myself. So we're going to race it real quick. And I'll show you guys what head-to-head -head racing is like. There we go. So I'm going to clutch down. Now, the method of racing I'm going to use here is probably going to change. I'm going to do something called full rev. Full rev is a very controversial thing in the community. Some people think you shouldn't be able to full rev. Some people think you should be able to full rev. I'm in the group that if we can add special tires, let's say full drag slicks, then maybe it can stay for the arcade premise, uh, premise of it. But being on basic street tires, like 555R tires from Nitto, you shouldn't be able to full rev. But basically what I do is full gas pedal. And as you can see, I give it a good old run. And... Yeah, that was kind of a farmed race, if you think about it. But as you can see, that's how head-to-head -head racing works. If you have a car that doesn't full rev like that, I'll show you what normal racing kind of looks like here with the Dodge Viper. So this car is not a full rev vehicle. It is a low rev vehicle. I think I revved this thing at like 2,500. I'm still working on the gear ratios and tuning of it. There we go. Not terrible. That's probably one of my better races. I need a lot of practice on the Dodge Viper. But that's what I mean by, like, realistic rev. Is we'll probably have every car, we'll have, you know, added grip from the 555R tires be, like, 3 to 4K at most for most cars. And then any other, uh, if you get the full drag slicks is what I'm hoping to add. Um, you will be able to rev a little bit higher. But that's head-to-head -head racing. Let me show you what gear ratios look like. Uh, I don't want to leak any ratios. I'm not supposed to leak. So we'll go with the Mopar. Gear ratios. This is exactly how they look. Back in the old days, you had to use buttons. Oh, the down button's broken for me. That's interesting. Anyway. You, use the, you used to use the buttons for going up and down. As you can see, there is a minimum for every gear. Oh, that's why I can't go down. <laughs> These are my old bracket ratios that I just haven't changed yet. Um, normally, first gear, you can't go below 2.0. Second gear, you can't go below 1.35. Third, you can't go below 1. Fourth, you can't go below 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 2.0. So you can actually type in these too. So you can do like... 1.525. You can type in these boxes now. That was one of the changes we made to make it a lot easier for people to share ratios and setups. But as you can see, also modifications. Let's go to a fully modified car. You know, exhaust, forced induction, intake, everything is listed here, which is a really nice system to have. You can even see I've done like different wheels on this car. But like I was saying, if you want to swap wheels, Uninstall your wheels, log out, and then log back in, and then install the other wheels you wanted to install. There's just a little bug on the server side that'll be fixed in the future, and it'll fix that. Same with forced induction. Let's say I had a turbocharged setup I wanted to throw on this Dodge Viper. I would uninstall the supercharger and the big pulley, log out, log back in, and install my turbo setup. But realistically, that's all you need to really worry about in this game right now. And if you didn't see my nitrous moving when I was racing the RSX, it's because on the admin clients, it's just unlimited nitrous. But that doesn't actually impact performance or make the car faster. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a large information dump. Oh, you know, one thing I didn't even talk about is with teams because I wasn't on one. You can race other teams. You can see challenges from other teams. You can mess with team account funds. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do, and it's a lot of fun. Team racing is something that will be added in a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.